Are you a landlocked sea witch just like me? Don't worry, I'll show you a few ways that you can bring the ocean magic to your home even if you are nowhere near the ocean. So one thing I like to do whenever I go to the beach, whenever I happen to get to go on vacation, we always go to the beach, um, I bring a water bottle or a small container and I bring home sand with me. I always thank the ocean and uh, the beach for the gift, but yeah, bring home some sand. There's all kinds of things that you can do with it. Bring home sea treasures that you find on the beach and keep them in your sacred space or you can incorporate them into your spell work. Um, I have some coral here, other little things I've found on the beach. Keep little jars of salt and sand in your altar space. Create ocean bottles. Create little altars in a cup. A lot of us know about meditating and working with crystals, but you can also meditate and work with seashells as well. I was on a walk and I found a really pretty shell, so I'm gonna show you how I clean it. First, you boil some water and drop the shell in. You're gonna boil the shell for at least 30 minutes. Once you take it out, you're gonna soak it in bleach for at least five or six hours. Every two hours or so, you're gonna to wanna to get in there with a toothbrush and scrub off all those barnacles and any algae that's left behind. And once you're done scrubbing, you're gonna run the shell under cold, clean water. And now you have a beautiful one-of-a-kind offering for your altar. Thanks for watching. you're a landlocked sea witch like me, don't fret. You can still incorporate so many elements of the ocean into your practice, into your sacred spaces, into your altar. Uh, you can make little jars of the ocean. You can use seashells for candles. You can hang up your sea treasures that you have found. Um, I have little bowls of shells and different rocks and sea treasures all over my house. Um, here's some fossilized coral. You can also use, if you don't have like shells or anything, you can use crystals that are associated with the ocean. Um, here's just another little ocean bottle. It's good for meditation. You can also put jars of sand and salt in your space. That's another crystal. It reminds me of coral. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, here's just some more shells. Like I said, I incorporate sea magic everywhere, even though I'm in the middle of Ohio, literally the middle of Ohio. <laughs> So don't worry, just incorporate the elements wherever you can. You can even make oil blends for the ocean.
Today we're going to rock tumble sea glass that I got at Walmart. It kind of has this little pinkish tint um, and they kind of they just look like rocks. <laughs> um, so I put that much in the barrel and then I let it rock tumble for a whole 24 hours. Now when the 24 hours were up, as you can tell, it got kind of thick, but when I rinsed it all off, they came out looking really, really cool. 